Yeah, so I think, you know, as I mentioned, so there is, there is uh, basically this wave of chatbots that's going to appear. So wherever you have internet or computer, you're going to have a layer of AI on top of that that, that can engage, you know, the users and, and, and uh, people who are using, using their cell phones and, and portable platforms. So that's going to be the first kind of, uh, you know, um, um, area that, that you can see help from, from AI and machine learning. But, you know, uh, there's also going to be, a, uh, of course, a kind of a major um, piece of, you know, um, development for, for industrial applications. You know, for example, when you want to refine, um, actually one of the ideas is that, you know, if you can have a high speed of, for example, monitoring, and you can, you know, use machine learning to, you know, pinpoint a certain very small feature or very, s you know, um, certain type of uh, particle, then you can, for example, manufacture something that is very, very specific and very expensive to manufacture without having the AI, right? So, you know, both industrial, in, on, a, on the industry section and also on the social section, we're going to have, you know, AI impacting, impacting uh, people's lives and industries. So right now what we are doing at MIT is that we are trying to use machine learning to, for example, model the way that light uh, scatters in the scattering medium. And the reason that this is important is that uh, when you want to image to a scattering medium with optical uh, frequencies, uh, you have this problem of scattering, right? So machine learning can help us to, to basically be able to classify or detect certain features inside the tissue or inside the scattering medium. And, and uh, that's how we're using machine learning. But we also use it for, for example, doing real-time you know, face tracking and you know, some conventional applications that have been used for, machine, uh, for, for computer vision. I mean, right now, if you go to, uh, to a computer vision conference, almost like 80% of, of papers are, ha has to do something with machine learning. So really, machine learning and, and computer vision are you know, right now so much you know, merged together that it's difficult to, to, to separate them apart. I think for you know for the technology part, it's it's very difficult to say. Um, I think there should be some sort of regulations once these kind of um, technologies want to be implemented in the society, right? I mean, I can write a code in a lab that does X, right? It can I don't know detect like faces in in hundreds of thousands of faces, let's say, right? And detect what each person feels like, for example, right? Uh, but when you want want to use that, you know, you know, in, on the street. Then you know you really have to consider the, you know does do people feel comfortable with that you know so um, I think on the on the engineering side it's very difficult to to you know to dictate that okay you guys shouldn't develop this or should should not do this you know especially with now with the global community you know it's really difficult to implement globally right even if you, you if even if you enforce it let's say in Europe it's not going to be enforced in in you know U S or China right. So that's, that's very difficult, but once it's going to come into the industry, so you, you know, you're giving a license to a company or you know, a company is making money, then you know, there can be really some regulations that, that kind of considers these ethics and, and these kind of issues. We did this um, um, illustration challenge globally, and we really brought you know, talent from, from engineers and concept artists to, to think about new, new ways that AI can help, help us. And so we, are, we have the winners being showcased in, in this uh, conference. Uh, what I want to say is that this is really something that every person can, can think about it from their angle, rather than you know, being very passive about it and say, oh, well, AI is going to come, it's going to get our jobs, and you know, we, we, don't have, we don't have any choice. You know, we, we cannot do anything about it. I think the fact that you uh, take some steps to get engaged and start these discussions and think about you know, really new possibilities can can open up uh, you know some of these issues